Are you dancing in the gym? You both kicked off your shoes. May I dig the rhythm? What happens in Vegas stays with you the rest of your life. <laughs> if you're good. But do you know when it's as good as it gets? When you're it, and there, and all that. When you touch the face of the beast and bring back five fingers. Do you know when you get as good as it gets? The old man was a fan. He was from Texas, and loud, and red, and round. And the girl with him was young, and blonde, and she was all that. So I'm at the dunes, gambling after the show with a black guy from the show. And we're waiting for the real show to start. And we get invited for drinks, which meant Coke. <laughs> By the old man and his wife. And she was a fan. She kisses the black guy, nice, choreographed, in plain sight in the light of the lounge. She grabs his ass as I look at the old man, as he looks at his blonde without expression, without looking at me, and he says, she likes to have fun. And then, I like her to have fun. He was a fan. And the four of us are back in their room off the strip for more blow, which meant something more than more blow, but something not yet choreographed. And me and the black guy are nervous, our hearts pound. So we do more blow. Because we're polite. And the old man begins pointing out the finer features of the beautiful blonde like a coked up creepy old dad. But in a nice way. Like, like a coach, like an inventor, like Geppetto showing off Pinocchio. But instead of a puppet that had become a real boy, he was showing off a real pretty girl that had become a real pretty girl sucking your dick. <laughs> And we were fans. We fucked her many ways, many times. And she fucked us back. She fucked me and the black guy like we were outnumbered. She made us fuck like fucking was a cause. Like fucking would elect Bill Clinton. Like it was jazz. Like it would buy wheelchairs for orphans if only we could bottle it. And maybe we could, because she was the perfect container for fuck. She fucked us so much she wore out the black guy. She fucked us so much she wore out the black guy. <laughs> she wore out the black guy. <laughs> Me? I kept going. For the orphans. Between 2 a.m. and dawn, she and I fucked a number of times. Between five and eight times. I can't say how many, because I'm polite. But it wasn't five. <laughs> we fucked so many times that fucking became goofy and new. In the way that saying a word becomes goofy and new when you say it over and over. And that word? Charming. As only charming can be when you're fucking a blacked out old man's blonde wife in a room off the Vegas Strip. And the sun comes in through a crack in the blackout curtains and touches the face of the blonde. And she says, this is nice. And you say, I have to go. And she says, we're here through the weekend. Call us. And you do. And you're
you're walking back to the dunes, which is no longer there. To a career, which is no longer there. To a decade, which is no longer there. And before you two are no longer there, you think that, yeah, that's probably as good as that's going to get. <laughs> Bunkin' Buck with a pink carnation pickup truck, but I